All right, y'all, welcome back to TurboTech. We're gonna do an uninterrupted dozen shots or so with a web tour. Uh, I got a pinup web tour here. I think it's laid out, I think it's 65 by four and a half by 35, something like that. I have no idea what we're bowling on, but uh, I can see an awful lot of track down the lane, so it means there's probably been an awful lot of uh, play on it already. So throw some shots, get you some specto data that you can pay attention to while the ball's going down the lane and we'll see what we think. So far so good, but that definitely read early. That one saw it a little too quick. Still went through the pins really well. What'd that hit? Looking at Specto, looks like I hit uh, 21, lived just over, just inside of 21. So let's see if we can move a few left, just to see if we can. I'm already against the ball return. That wasn't bad. Thing definitely gives me that shape that that benchmark look that basically it's a ball that you can use on anything literally anything well and I, yeah I mean I guess you could probably even use it on Badger but we don't ever see Badger anymore I don't know oh that's right Woo! I got that one right. You can see that on Specto. Still made it through the pens. That's good news. So we must be bowling on a beat up league pattern. All right. Now well, moved left and threw it right. So let's try not to throw it that far right anymore. Although apparently it doesn't matter. That one's left. Ooh, yeah, I saw that one coming. Yeah, definitely see that one left. So, split the difference, we're in good shape. So, I got my room right, but I don't have room left. Eh, shoot, might as well shoot a spare. See if we can make it. All right, what do we talk about? Visualization. So, we need to see the ball. Going to the right of the three pin, kicking over. I mean, better visualization, visualization than that. Shoot, didn't get it where you wanted. It's all right. Come back here, go a couple more left. Start getting almost in front of the ball return. That one's good. That one was good. I'm not sure where that one hit, but it was pretty good. According to Specto, we're looking at what? 22.4? Yeah, and the one that went high was 23.5. Yeah, so that was a bit of a difference there. Let's see if I can keep going left. Just for fun. Get up against the ball return. What are you gonna do? This ball's just dirty. Like it's unbelievable what this ball can do. Having that lower differential, I mean, makes it to where it really gets down lane, doesn't flare nearly as much as what some of these other high power bowling balls do. So it really reminds me six years ago before I signed with EBI when I was throwing stuff like, you know, an IQ Tour. It really reminds me of those type of bowling balls. I had a little bit of success with those balls. It's kind of exciting to see a ball reaction like this again. Oh, that's way left. That was way left. 
can see how sporadic I am. I should be practicing a little more. All right, what are we gonna try to do here? Well, since I'm good at it, let's try to jump. See if I can take the six straight back. Maybe that's what I need to do when I shoot at that spare more often is just try to take the six off. So when I don't, I sure seem to take it off straight back quite often. Move left a little bit further. Almost to the point where I gotta get in front of the ball return. That's close. Alright. How many shots we got there? That's 10 shots with two spare shots. Two more frames here. Let's get in front of the ball return now. See if I can't three step. I haven't done it in a while. Right, will that get through? Not quite. Not quite. So here's a challenge. Try to take the four straight back. I've done it before. Going right to left handed, I've done it. I don't understand how, but I've done it. So now we'll go a little bit up the line. Got a chance. I was hooked. Uh, oh well. So apparently I figured out a technique. Try to miss the spare and you end up making it. <laughs> All right. I guess I didn't move far enough left in front of the ball return. So we'll go with a little bit more. Try to get your hand around it a bit. Uh, whew. Sickening. Just sickening. I should have brought a different ball in here too, so you can kind of compare it. I don't have anything different in here. So more left and call it good. See what happens. Have to get this one over the cap a little bit. Really circle it. Otherwise, you probably won't go through the pins. Oh, get around. <laughs> now that's dirty. That, folks, is the versatility of a web tour. With just a standard layout, I mean, it's a fairly strong layout, but man. Ah, we haven't tried to go real straight yet. Let's see if the track area plays with this ball. But right now, on whatever we're bowling on. Alright, let's see what we got. I shouldn't miss right, or miss left. Try that again. Just to finish off, so you can see how good this ball is, even going straighter. Four pin. So I can do pretty much anything I want with this ball, which is always what we're looking for in bowling balls. Drilled a couple of these already. There are a couple more blank ones back there I'm gonna drill. Make a small move off of that one. whatever you want well I guess that's all the time I got today guys so make sure you subscribe to this channel share it go get yourself a web tour make sure you got turbo grips in the ball 
Make sure you got your switch grip done. Make sure you're wearing your Dexter shoes. And uh, we will see you guys next time when uh, I figure out what I'm going to do next. So take care, guys. We'll see you.